Well, we got another call today on a job for the third. So now I got a job Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. Working on this Mustang today. So this Tuesday. It's all washed, all uh, cleaned inside. Um, just getting to the point of uh, polishing it, waxing it, talked all the inside. I'm a little behind. It's about it's 2:30, and uh, this thing is horrendous. It's just it's like they washed it with sandpaper. I don't know if you guys can pick that up. But, uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm going to do what I can. I'm hoping this big bite compound and, uh, and the yellow pad and the porta cable and freaking crank her up on high, you know, I mean, that's just, that's really cloudy yet, I don't know. Did the headlights, and uh, they didn't turn out too good. They're, they're bad shape. But, uh, yeah, like this, I'm gonna have to polish out really good. So rear bumper. Backward. And then I got bulbs burned out in the ceiling, right in the area I need. <laughs> That's just not my my day today. Um. Yeah, I tried calling Vince's kids, see if I get Sky or Vince to come and. Or Dean's kids, Sky and Vince, see if they come and help me bust this salt quick. I'll pay them five bucks an hour, either one. Doesn't matter. But, uh. I don't know if I showed that. Um. I think I did show that the other day. That uh, enclosed room I got for free. Yeah, she's a hot one today. It's gotta be at least 80 out here. But uh, that's it. You can see that got tweaked. There's one I actually snapped off. But all the fabric's good. Just needs to be natured and uh, closed off. And the posts are good, the four posts. So I can build off of that. So. Freaking rock stuck in my shoe. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, Update from Elric the other day. That's pretty cool. Good to see you. I don't know how it is. Sometimes you just. I don't know why I've locked. Um. I don't know how it is. Oh, what else? That's about it for today, I guess. So. Uh, I'll probably get an after shot for you guys. Uh, yeah. Scratch, you scratch. Oh man, I jumped about 10 feet. <laughs> Things working awesome though. So, 
Well, I guess I'll let you guys go, and uh, uh, thanks for all the congratulations again on our 10-year anniversary, 17 years together. Oh, I'll show you the truck. It uh, turned out nice. I, uh, I had to, uh, let's see, you guys probably won't see it now. Not really. Oh yeah, then the camera dims down. Oh, you can kind of see it. Nicey, nice. Let's do another sanding, and uh, now it's got another thing of Lando on it, and uh, hopefully get that prime sometime soon. So, yeah, procrastinating. And I'm not procrastinating on this now. It's freaking buddy that owns it and Rich. So. Alright, everybody have a good one. Well, we're back at the procrastinator's garage. And I'm not procrastinating today. I had a, I was supposed to have a job at 9 a.m. this morning and go detail on a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Well, they're not here yet. Uh, I've been working on this then. And uh, oh, I'll do a little touch up finishing the sanding there. But uh, I got her. Started to see a little bit of the dirt glass there. But she didn't turn out bad. better so uh, this part's kind of funky but the light covers most of that up hopefully I can fill it with primer <laughs> you know, I don't really care but uh, you know it's a little tight here and then there get there's a gap you know down here on this end so uh, but he'll be happy. And then uh, this, this I'm pretty happy with. I mean, you know, it, uh, I mean, this was all bashed in down to about here where my finger is. So I got that hammered out pretty good. And then, uh, Sanded it with 80 grit, and then sanded it with 120 grit. That's all I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna get ready to tape it off here and prime it. And, uh, yeah, freaking pissed about this corner. Sand block slipped, so I scratched it all the way up in here. So I'm not really sure what to do now. You know, I you know, I just I guess try and blend it in a little or something. It's the only thing I hate doing about body work. I suck at blend crap. I just don't do do it, you know. Um guess if anything you know see that I don't know how the rest of, oh boy that's a big dent looks like somebody tried to hammer it out that's weird huh. you know probably a lot of you guys would you know pull this flap off and uh, you know maybe clear it 
here down. I don't know. You know, blow a little paint, blah blah, and then just clear this section. You know, right, up into there, whatever, you know. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, I guess, in your opinion, or if I should just, you know, clear that and blah blah. I don't know. Scuff it good. So, uh, what else is going on? There was something I wanted to talk about actually, and I can't remember. Um, yeah, I, you know, I don't know what it is. Uh, sometimes I get these appointments, and they never show. It's like, oh, you know, how long do you wait? I mean, I'm, I'm going to work on this, but, you know, I mean, it'd be nice if she would have called or maybe she forgot. Kind of sucks because there's, you know, 180 bucks going. Or, you know, maybe she'll reschedule. So. Just take a little break. And, uh, yeah. I'm just going to use some spray bomb primer on it. And, uh, should be good. So, oh, that black car. Um, yeah, Vince came and helped me, and, you know, it kind of, kind of sucked, you know, training somebody for the first time. I'm not a very good teacher either, so, it kind of sucked. <laughs> so, he didn't really do the greatest job, and then, oh, and then I screwed up, and I forgot the, uh, and that Mustang, it just has a convertible cover thing that goes on the back, and, uh, Got to scrub and clean that, and then uh, oh, and then uh, the floor mats. I forgot to do the floor mats, so we had to wait a little bit. And then I noticed on the hood some streakage from that porta cable. You could see where I went with the porta cable, and it was kind of cloudy. So I'm really pissed about that. So I don't know. Just today's yesterday's job just didn't go very well. You know, and I just have to hope that uh, they don't notice it. You know, I mean, I just. I don't know, I just didn't want to make a mate wait any longer, you know. Would have been another half hour or so to redo the hood. That just, it's been bothering me all, uh, all night and all morning. Uh, I just, uh, but, uh, yeah. So, I guess I'm going to go and I'll be back later. All right, got it in primer. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, I don't know why, I didn't even notice that. I guess I just thought it was a little divot, but yeah, I'm gonna have to take some glazing putty to that. But otherwise, it's looking okay. I mean, it's, um, I was looking at it down this way and it's not bad. You know, I, I got the curve, you know, best I could, and he's not picky, you know. And um, this, it's just, probably, I'll throw some glazing putty up here on the top. But otherwise, this didn't turn out too bad, you know, of course, got sand scratches in it, and, and that. 
a little funkiness right in there but uh I think she'll be okay block it out do the glazing putty and prime it again so all right I'm calling it a day it's 11 o'clock I just tried calling Vince so I could pay him but he's not home yet how oh, he's busy kid he's in football you know, they're out of school but they got training in the mornings till 11 so he's doing that I don't know when he comes home right away or goes hangs out with friends but so I'm gonna call it a day sort of and we gotta do some errands in town so everybody have a good one